Obviously. Sam, Sophie, and Dan thought they were safe. Here's immunity. Woo! Cheers. But that was a lie. As these three will face Friday's eviction. Tonight, housemates face Big Brother's ultimate game show. As they find out what the public really think. Big Brother asked the viewers which housemate makes them want to change the channel. That's pretty nasty. Which housemate has the most annoying voice? Which housemate is the biggest snake? I bet it's me. <laughs> no way. And Callum takes it one step too far. Dear 41.10.06 a.m. After an electrifying night, the housemates are all sound asleep. Time for Big Brother to wake them up for this week's game show themed shop and task. Contestants have to answer questions in all manner of weird and wonderful ways. There are big questions to be answered and big money to play for. So let's hear a warm round of applause for our lucky contestants. Feel free to give us a wave, guys. We've got Callum. We've got Dan. We've got Charlie. We've got Dexter and Gia and Sam. We've got Hazel, Sophie, and last but not least, it's Jack and Joe. Ten twenty eight a.m. For this week's shopman task, all housemates have to do is answer as many questions correctly as possible. The right answers have come from nine thousand responses to a survey about the housemates on the Big Brother website. If the housemates guess correctly, they'll win big books, and their final total after the two days will be their shopman budget. And to get them started, Big Brother has given them a tenner. Today's first game is Eat the Answer. This one's just for Hazel. Lucky Hazel. Oh, yeah, this. Hazel just to die. Yeah, this is this is the first. First thing in the morning. This is a bit harsh. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> yeah, for you. <laughs> Hazel, your question is this. What did the viewers say they would like to see you eat for breakfast? Was it a putrid pig's nose pastry? Oh, oh my ah! god! It's an actual oh. snout. Oh, this is... It's an actual snout. <laughs> this is brutal. <laughs> no, it's a pig nose. Some truly terrible tarantulas on toast. Oh! oh. oh my god! Oh. Actual tarantulas. Or oh, were they nice enough to vote for a lovely normal blueberry muffin? Oh, Hazel. No. <laughs> they wouldn't have been. For £50, pounds, oh. Hazel, you must eat the answer. I have to eat it. Yeah. Do you not think tarantulas is because you hate spiders? It's the pig one. I think it's the pig oh, nose. Yeah. If there was a picture of it on the website, you'd pick that, wouldn't you? You'd be pretty gutted if you eat the pig nose and it turned out to be the blueberry yeah, muffin. This is... It's certainly not the muffin. I'm not going to be so deluded to think it's the blueberry muffin. Hazel, for £50, pounds, <laughs> eat the answer. It's only £50. Pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I hope there's not snots in it or anything. Oh. Snot. Oh. His hair is hanging off oh. 
Okay. Is it a real pig's nose? Oh, 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 oh. oh Go on, Hazel. That's just is that real pig nose? I don't reckon it's. Shut up yeah. saying pig nose. No. <laughs> 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 It's a texture of <laughs> hmm? This is nice for breakfast. <laughs> How am I supposed to eat it with a big bone inside it? <laughs> Just gnaw it like it's a piece like of chicken. Song, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking out the bone because I can't eat the bone. She's stuck right in there, isn't she? Fair play. Poor devil, I'm eating his nose. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing well, go on, Hazel. Well. I'm not going to put my foot. Go on, Hazel, well done. It's going to go up your ass. Say it, yeah. Well done, girl. Well done. Right, let's hope it's that answer. Oh. Hazel, you thought that the viewers wanted to see you eat a pig's nose pastry. That was the wrong answer. Oh, it was a spiders, I told you. In fact, the viewers wanted to see you eat the tarantulas uh, on toast. I told you. Well, I'm sorry to rather it. Let's give Hazel a big round of applause. Don't worry, don't worry. Eleven thirty-seven AM. Sophie, Dan, and Sam are in the safe house. That's the thing, like, with Sam, like, he doesn't talk to me much in here. Like, when we, he, he speaks to me more in here than he did in the main house, but, like, I wanted someone in here that I could proper have a laugh with. Mm. Like, where is, like, because he just, it's like he don't want to be in here, like, he wants to go out. Mm. And I understand what he's saying, but, like, he needs to start getting used to it. I suppose, you know, I, I like someone to get on... Pretty, pretty well for Sam, but I think he's because he's quite a lad, isn't he? Like, he's yeah. a young lad, there's not really anyone else for him to sort of I don't know, only Callum, isn't it? Really, yeah. that's on a level with him in that sense, I suppose. So maybe he finds it hard with everyone else. I don't know. Is that even like it since you've come in, though? Like, he's only what been quieter, yeah, since you've come in. Like, I found yesterday, like, he didn't want to be in here, he didn't want to take the drink out, he didn't want to get in the pool, like. It, do you know what I mean? Like, if you knew you was going to be like that, what was the point of saying yes to coming in here? Mm. <gasps> thunderstorms. Oh, Do you like thunderstorms? Love. Yeah. As long as I'm not in a plane, I love them. <laughs> yeah. You said you, you've been in the plane for a thunderstorm, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just... Yeah, that would be horrific, but... Any other time this week. Where's my phone? Fucking irritates me sometimes, so he does. What did he do just then? He just irritates me. Just, ugh. Just the way he says things to me, it's like, ugh, shut up. Sorry, but like... Would <laughs> you have to be sorry to me? <laughs> I'm the head of the, uh, Callum Appreciation Society. <laughs> Coming up... The questions get tougher. Which housemate did you say is manipulating the situations so that people turn against you? Oh. That's really, really nasty. And Jack and Jewel get a celebrity call. I can't believe I'm speaking to you. <laughs> oh my god, you're worse off like Fairwell Tour was the best. Hang on. I hear, you, I hear you're uh, a big fan, yeah? It's just Joe now, and I'm just saying I'm a fan of Take That now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Twelve or six p.m. The twins are showing their cheeky side. Oh, it's a chubby monkey. Oh, oh, it's a chubby monkey. I'm just not sitting like. I'm sat up here. Who's that, Hazel? Who's that? Lawrence. 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 Oh, you've such baby faces, the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't even know he's a chubby monkey. You just attacked my face. You just went, no, but I know what you're going to... Oh! Ow! Oh!
Big Brother has given Sophie her own special round as part of this week's Right Answer task. Whenever she hears her jingle, she's got to answer one of Big Brother's oh. tricky riddles. It's my new toy. Callum is using his magic touch on Charlie. Am I in the right spot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a limb and achy. This one? Really achy. What have you done? Just the limbo? That's Just all you've done? Limbo, I mean, yeah. you haven't slept funny or anything? No, 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 no. I shouldn't, I was not really supposed to bear my spine that low. And tell me if I get off the rock, you know, and slip off the right spot. <laughs> I'm really scared if you know it. Tell me. Sophie, it's time for your first tricky riddle. Sophie riddles. What has a bottom at its top? I don't know. What has a bottom at its top? What has a bottom at its top? I don't know that one. I told you I'm sick of riddles. I told them that. Sophie, you failed to answer your tricky riddle. Everyone they ask me, the they want to give me money. The answer to what has a bottom at its top that? is a leg. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. A leg. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. It's a riddle. Sophie's oh, got to do bottom? riddles. Yeah. Like a bum. A bum. A bum. I'm shit at riddles, maths, anything that deal, deals with thinking. <laughs> oh. Leave me alone. <laughs> It's time for another tricky riddle, Sophie. <laughs> Listen carefully. What gets wetter as it dries? Oh, do you know it? No. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking... Um... A towel! Is that right? Yeah. That means the money. That is the correct answer. Well done, well done. Well done. It's worth ten pounds. Uh, twenty pounds. Sophie, you have just won twenty pounds. Well done, Soph. Why does a towel? It towel? It gets wet, but it dries you. It dries you. It doesn't dry itself. Oh. I'm shy at riddles. I'm gonna stand around you all day. <laughs> <laughs> One thirty-nine p.m. Time for Big Brother's brand new game show. Announce the answer. All of the answers are from a survey of 9,000 Big Brother viewers. The housemates must correctly guess what the viewers thought. First up, it's Gina. Oh, Gina, your boobs are going to pop out. <laughs> 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 No, they're safe. Big Brother asked the viewers which housemate they think has the most annoying voice. Which housemate did they choose? Me. I Gina, no for way. £20, and that's the answer. answer. Annoying voice. In my honest opinion, the housemate that I think the viewers would say has the most annoying voice is Sophie. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Gina, that was the right answer. Oh, yeah! Sophie, here's your question. Which housemate did you describe as a cringe bag? Um, I think I said that about Callum, and that is because sometimes he does everything over extravagant. Is that the word? Extravagant? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm not going to talk too much because I'm annoying, innit? I? <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, that was the right answer. Oh, yeah! Dan, here comes your question. Big Brother asked the viewers which housemate makes them want to change the channel. I'll play it's play leave. I bet it's me. It's got to be. That's got to be me. I've been, I'm brand new for each one. Talk. Okay, the one housemate I think makes viewers want to change channel is Hazel because she been booed a lot in the last couple of weeks and maybe they don't like her, but I really do like her and Aww. I wouldn't want to change channel if I was watching. Dan, that was the right answer. I don't agree with the answer at all, and you know that, babe. But, I know, um, I know. Mm. No, but you're right, you're right. Mm. Dexter, here's your question. 
Which housemate did you say is manipulating the situations so that people turn against you? Announce the answer. No, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, it's this too. <laughs> Shucks, just so it's not straightforward with Dexter, no, is it? No, 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 it's not. <laughs> it oh, there's two. Love it. The housemate manipulating situations so people turn against me is Callum. Um, because I find him deceptively intelligent and I think he wants to take me out of the process as soon as possible. That'd be nice. I hope it's correct for the sake of awkwardness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Awkwardness is so... Dexter, that was the wrong answer. Wrong, wrong answer. Wrong answer. It's Gina then. I'm in a place of situations. Oh. oh. It's me. Explain. Do you want to explain? Let it see if it is first. Oh. I think it's fake. <laughs> if it's not, then he's dropped it's another one. He's dropped another clanger. He's not even doing anything. Three things, three things, isn't it, about? You actually said that Gina was the housemate that was trying to turn housemates against you. Against you? You really think that? I thought That's I pretty it nasty. Is. Mm. Oh, that's Ouch. Pretty nasty. That is pretty nasty. I know what week it was taken from anyway, so... No, I'll that's really, really nasty. Thought. Does anyone else think that? That you're trying to turn the house against Dexter? Dexter. Yeah, yeah, like, no. Oh, gosh, Dexter. Not. And that brings us to the end Ow. of the Announce the Answer round. Oh. We'll see you here soon for more crazy questions on The Right Answer. Well, that was a nice way to end the day. <laughs> I'm really disappointed. Of all people, as well. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's amazing. Is the word Jack? Okay. That is amazing. Okay. <laughs> Okay. What? Two fourteen PM. Jaw is consoling Sophie after the viewers said her voice was the most annoying. My dearest. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been telling you for six weeks you've got an annoying voice. So. Fuck you. <laughs> You're annoying. I know, but <laughs> the public haven't said anything horrible about me yet, so I'm That's just not waiting. even horrible, though. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't horrible. <laughs> Things are still awkward between Gina and Dexter. Explain. I will do. Come sit, oh, sit here. I know when that was. That was after, that was after the daily thing, and it was the same night. Is the um, Hazel and Charlie argument because I because I went upstairs upset because I couldn't understand like if you if you really did sort of misunderstand what Daly said or whether uh, whether whether you were just doing it to sort of break mine and mine and Daly's sort of friendship up. What I don't like and what I'm really really shocked about is that if you really really felt like that. Why don't you come to me, sit me down, and say, I don't like this, Gina. You know, I feel that you're manipulating others, or you're doing this, or whatever. And talk to me about it. And then we'll have straightened it out. I don't have to hear from Big Brother this, this game. Do you get what I'm saying? No, I totally understand what you're saying, I Gina. actually thought you were an honest person, and I'm very, very disappointed. So I was so upset with the daily thing, so, you know, like, I've, okay. I've got, you know, I've got nothing, you know, I've got nothing to hide. I've been openly honest. The reason that I said that was... Openly honest? You wasn't openly honest. I had to hear from this task, from this, from this game. And it was also the way that they were, they were putting the questions to me that day that I was upset made me answer in that specific way. So that was in the diary room, it wasn't to anyone else in the house? No, 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 no. So, it, because I was upset that day, because I went up upset, and, and then I was, I was saying, I hope it's just a misunderstanding, but, you know, maybe, maybe I've missed something. With Gina, that's what I said. But the thing is, what's worrying me is I don't know what you're saying in the diary room about me. I, this is what's worrying me now, and I, I don't feel comfortable around you anymore. But anyway, I'm kind of done with this conversation. I need, I need some space. I need to think. I don't hate you, but I just need to think. Three seventeen PM 
Big Brother's ultimate game show continues, and it's time for the celebrity round. What does poker face mean? Poker face is... Poker face, game face. Not giving anything away. Yes. I thought it was poke her face. <laughs> poke her face? <laughs> poke her face? <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, shit, it's the announce the answer again. Oh. It's question time again, Woo! and for this next round, we have a very special guest caller on the phone. It's Westlife singing sensation, Shane Phelan. Yeah. Nice. Jack and Joe, this question is just for you. Are they joking? Is it a joke? No, no. In a moment, Shane from Westlife will call the Big Brother house. <laughs> I do hope uh, it's him. Do you want me to say it's me? I don't know if it's actually Shane from Westlife. You fucked right up. You're asking back off. Oh, that's so funny. Big Brother asked Shane Phelan which twin is his favourite, Jack or Joe. Oh, no. For £50, would Shane's favourite twin answer the phone? That's you. What do you think? Quick, 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 run! Yeah, I think. Do you go. think it's me? He's gonna go, he's gonna go berserk. Hello? Hello, this is Shane Fylan. Who am I speaking to? Oh, as if it actually is. Drop me out. Is it actually oh my you? God, is it actually him? <laughs> Who's that? It's Jack. Is it right? Please tell me. Jack, you are, you are my favourite, yeah? Oh my God, I'm right! <laughs> Drop me out! I can't believe Pass I'm speaking phone. to you! <laughs> oh my God, you're West Westlife like Farewell Tour is the best! Hang on. I hear, you, I hear you're uh, a big fan, yeah? It's just Joe now, and I'm just saying I'm a fan of Take That Now. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> you're oh, it. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Sorry. You've ruined it. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. No, I can't I, believe I'm actually... I, I had to pick one. I just think Jack's funny. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Jack is funny. I can't believe I'm actually talking to you from Westlife. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. How are you? Y'all good? Yeah, we're really weird. It's really Four weird. Cool. Yeah, you're yeah. having a lot of fun. Is it going good? Uh, yeah, everyone's going well. Everyone says hello. Everyone say hello. Hello, everybody. Hi. It's hello. Shane from Westlife. He goes, he goes hello, and Jack's screaming at Shane from Westlife. I'll pass you back to the phone for me. I can't believe I've spoken to you. You're my idol. Who's on the phone to you? Thank you. I'm shaking. I'll pass you back to Jack. Thanks. All right, thank you. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm actually speaking to you on the phone to you. This is some new level shit. <laughs> <laughs> God. My sister's gonna be so jealous because they all, our whole family, I'm not gonna sing you raising sing up down the phone. Ah, uh, come on, it doesn't matter. Yeah. No. Yeah. How about yeah. you sing yeah. for me? Sing. Come on. Just one line, you one line. I wanna hear something. You raise me up. I can stand. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, oh my say, god! Say, 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 you can sing it, you can sing it with me. Wait, sing it to Joe. Sing again, I wanna hear. You sing it. You sing it with me. Alright, what we're singing? You raise me up. Alright. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. Get everybody singing. You raise me up. We're not better singers, you don't talk. On stormy seas. Oh, you're making me swoon. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, then. Say goodbye to Shane. Bye. Bye. They say goodbye. Bye, guys. See you later. Take bye. care. Bye. Enjoy bye, Shane, bye. bye. You raise me up. Yeah, sat at the back of the O2. Did he sing? Did what? he sing? Did, he was just he like, sang, yeah. he was singing, he raised me up. Yeah. You could tell by his voice it was Shane. Definitely. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My sister's going to be so jealous. Ah! <laughs> so jealous. Coming up, things get messy. Oh! oh. 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 oh it's lovely. Oh. 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 Does it smell like poop? Yeah. And Hazel gets a nasty surprise. Well, can someone explain why I'm a snake? Anyone? Can anyone explain to me the answer? No? You're just a snake for whatever reason. I don't know. <laughs> 6 17 pm. Time for Big Brother's next game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. <laughs> Welcome back. We're here in the garden with our lucky contestants. Woo! Woo! Now, you might have noticed that some of them are looking a little apprehensive right now, and that's because it's time for everyone's favourite round, Gunge the Answer. <laughs> Big Brother asked the viewers which housemates they think would least enjoy being gunged. For £20, 
Gunge the answer. I'm Come not, on, Jay. I'm not going to lie, Gina. Yeah, 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 ye
I was never fully... It was never my passion, because it, it wasn't my dream, it wasn't... Did you wake up in the morning looking forward to going to work? Not really, no. no. My only regret, really, is that I just settled for something that I thought was the right thing, which it was the right thing at the time, but then you get trapped, you get stuck, and you lose your passion, you, use, you lose your dreams, in a sense. You know, and if, if, you can, if you can do something, then do it, but if you don't want to do it, then don't. It's, it's just thinking about yourself a bit more, which is something that I haven't done enough, I think, in my life a bit, so... Um, I feel at a place... What's the advice, done? Mm. Eight thirty-three p.m. Housemates are all set for the next round of the right answer. Uh, again. We're back with another big question. Big Brother asked the viewing public which housemate is the biggest snake. Thousands of viewers voted, and the question is, which housemate received the most votes for being the biggest snake in the house? The storeroom is now open. The housemate that is the biggest snake should slither over and collect a snake costume. That's right, for £50, housemates, you need to dress up the right answer as a snake. Did everyone kind of stare at Dexter, or was it just me? <laughs> uh, no Aww. offense, Dexter. I would right, say yes. Yeah. Let's just work our way around. Yeah, everyone gets an opinion. Dexter, who do you think it should be? I don't know, actually, to be honest, because I don't, think, I don't think there's any snakiness now. Should we go this way? Yeah. So so you start with Callum. Time. Yeah. Everyone gets uh, Dexter. 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 I don't want to answer. Gina, don't push the outside. No. Yeah, everyone, everyone has to answer. That's that's it. Everyone that's has to answer. Consensus. Okay, maybe because of. Um, stuff that's said and everyone actually calls him a snake in the house, so I think Dexter. Only because people call him a snake in the well, house. clearly everyone's going to go with Dexter, aren't they? Yeah, you too. Okie dokies. See you all later. If it's wrong, I'm going to laugh my tits off. Oh, oh we can't God, even sit down. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Dex. <laughs> Have fun eating dinner. <laughs> I can't see his face, I can only see the snake. Brilliant fun. Housemates, you chose Dexter as the biggest snake in the house. Big Brother can now reveal that this was the wrong answer. Take it off. Huh? Take it off. I'm not allowed, am I? In fact, the right answer was that Hazel received the most votes for oh. being the biggest snake. Oh, God. Of course it is. Hazel, as you were voted the biggest snake, Big Brother thinks that it is only fair that you wear the snake costume until further notice. Should have figured. Thanks, Dan. Stand over this place, right? Yeah, yeah, we will. Oh, find the face. It's too big for my arms. Well, can someone explain why I'm a snake? Anyone? I wasn't asked that about it, Hazel. Can anyone explain to me the answer? No? You're just a snake, for whatever reason, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, if anyone in here thinks I'm a snake, tell me now. What happened yesterday? No way. No one in here. Nine forty nine PM. Gina is in the diary room. I'm loving the public right now, like literally, like loving the public. Like they're just perfect. Like all of their decisions are like perfect. Like seriously, I'm so proud of them. Like they're just choosing everything that's like perfect. I'm just so happy. Hazel being the snake, that's hilarious. Like loved it. And like, oh my gosh, like everything. I've been like, oh my god, wow, public. Like you're the best. <laughs> You're actually the best. Like, they know what's right. Like, they're not stupid. Most of the other housemates are quizzing Hazel. I'm finding it really difficult to comprehend today that you're getting such a rough ride as you are. In my head, I'm thinking, are you actually real? Me? Yeah, I know, it's pathetic. Isn't you, it? Are, you are, you are, you are. I know. Oh, no, you are. That's Tell me I mean, you are. I don't know, Dan, that's, uh, that's, the, that's the thing. Not because she's a bad person. Sorry? You don't you think she's what? who she is? She is no. 100 million, million, no. zillion, no. trillion percent no. she is. No, no, I mean, I just feel that it's not, but it doesn't, feel, it doesn't add up to me. In my like, opinion, 100% like, Hazel, because some people take it differently to how we take her, and some people are very jealous. 
because she's Who's stunning. Who's jealous? What, on the outside? Aren't yeah, you? I do. Like, some people are really... And, and also, you told me from day one you've got the, the stereotype of the model. No, 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 look, I'm struggling to understand why the public have got in for you like this. Mm. Like, snake, oh, turn the TV off. Struggling. Like, mm. so... And, and if my... anything, I'm not going to be funny, but Dan has copped everybody and has spotted everything, so I'm glad that Dan has a bit of faith in me. I have a complete faith mm. in you, because... I really like you, and mm. I know that me and you will be very good friends when I come out of here. Mm. I hope so, anyway, because I believe I feel that with mm. you. Maybe the whole the thing in the safe house when Dexter and Gina were in there. Maybe that's influenced the public because Dexter why, and Gina have stayed so long because they called the you a snake. Liar. Why do you think I was the real snake? Just out of interest. Have I backstabbed anybody, or have I? No, it, it, it wasn't anything. Was it just to create a bit of a stir? No, literally, it wasn't anything to do with the backstabbing. Like I said, we only had yeah. a certain amount of. Titles and you just match someone, so you didn't think about it. Amount of titles, and we had to save certain ones for certain yeah. people. Do you think it's maybe because Daly was asked to leave, and people think it was my decision, and that I no, 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 I don't no, think it's that. No, I don't think it's to do with that. I, I just reckon people they have to have a reason that yeah. that was the way that we saw it and mm. if it's just two I know it's just two people's opinions mm. but that was the way that we saw it raw. Yeah. And I'm just saying that maybe those opinions have stuck in people's minds as well. Coming up. Hazel wonders what she's doing wrong. I'll be happy to go on Friday if this is the way people want to treat me. Yeah. I would too, don't deserve this. I really don't think I do. I don't think you I do. haven't been horrible to anybody in here. And Callum reveals way too much. <laughs> Eleven sixteen p.m. Dan and Hazel are discussing public perception. Well, you're putting on a brave face. Huh? You're putting on a brave face. Yeah. Is it working? Mm-hmm. I'll be happy to go on Friday if this is the way people want to treat me. Yeah. I would too. I don't deserve this. I really don't think I do. I don't think you do. I haven't do. been horrible to anybody in here. I don't think so either. Fair enough. If I was an ultimate bitch, I'd go, OK, I've been nasty, but I don't think I've been nasty to anybody. Exactly. You've got nothing to be ashamed of. <coughs> Callum has been called to the diary room. Callum, Big Brother yeah. asked the viewers who they would most like to see you perform one of your famous strip routines for. Oh. To earn £100 for the totaliser, Callum, you must strip for the answer. <laughs> no. Big Brother thinks you look the business, Callum. Are you, are you serious? Have you looked at me? Who do you think the viewers would have voted for? Because of my previous interest, I'm obviously going to go along the lines of Charlie. Oh, oh guys, have you met my new bird? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't like your new bird. I think she's a bit of a snake. Oh, bitch, you're saying that's going to shit. Oh, <laughs> Nikki. Dexter, Dexter. Sam. This is <laughs> Big Brother. Callum is quoted as saying that when he takes his top off for a crowd of screaming ladies, it's an explosion. Well, Big Brother wanted to put that to the test. Wow. So Big Brother asked the viewers which housemate Callum should perform one of his famous strip routines for. Me! For £100, Callum will strip for the answer. It's womanizer. No, wait, where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Where are my glasses?
play, mate. I skate around the garden. You dance like a twat. Fair play. We're, we're even. I hope that was worth 500 quid. Uh, oh, who's wow. worth Let's hear it for Callum, everybody. Jesus. Fair play. Fair play, mate. Fucking nice Never be a teacher in a fucking million years. This is Big Brother. Yes. Callum, you thought that the public said they wanted to see you strip for Charlie. Big Brother can now reveal that this was the right answer. Yay! Yay! Well done. Fair play. This is Big Brother. Congratulations, Callum. You have earned a hundred pounds. Well done, Callum. Eleven fifty three PM. Some of the housemates have eviction on their mind. Friday will be it for I think Friday probably has will be going and I think I'll probably be joining her, but oh, I think God that'd be my worst nightmare. No, no, I, I do I, I do God. believe that it will be <laughs> so I do think I'll crumble. Be me, well I won't crumble, but, but I'll be absolutely gutted. Oh my god, so Oh my god, I'd be gutted, I don't want to go. Hazel, the difference is Hazel's ready if to go. Went, I just I couldn't think anything. Oh I don't want to go. Oh my god, seriously. Hazel is opening up to Big Brother after a day of revelations. The task so far, personally, for me is going absolutely shit. I don't know what everybody's seen, but I don't think I'm a snake, so it was annoying to get titled a snake when I'm not. If somebody in the house could come up with one explanation or one example, um, you know, or one person in the group that thinks, yeah, she's definitely the snake of the house, I would have said, okay, hold my hands up if that's your opinion. But um, everybody in the house disagreed and they said that it was unfair and that they didn't think that that was the case. And they were a bit upset. Dan was upset. I think he didn't appreciate it because obviously we get on. And I think Dan is intuitive and he'd see if I was a snake or, a, you know, a bad person or whatever. So do you think the public are wrong? Yeah. I'm not going to go against the public. If that's what they wanted to see me do, then that's fair enough for whatever they've seen. Um, it would be unwise to go against a nation. Uh, so if they think I'm a snake, that's fine. I'll wear the outfit, and I have. And um, can't say I've enjoyed it, but I'll do whatever um, is needed of me. Nobody can be, you know, loved all the way. Not everybody's going to like you, so... Um, yeah, we're all in here for a reason, so you just got to... Roll with the punches, I guess. This week, Dan, Sam and Sophie face the public vote. Who do you want to see leave the house? Remember, you're voting to evict. To evict Dan. From a landline call, 090 20 50 58 04. Or from a mobile, 6 50 58 04. To evict Sam from a landline call 090 20 50 58 12 or from a mobile 6 50 58 12. To evict Sophie from a landline call 090 20 50 58 13 or from a mobile 6 50 58 13. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 35p. Other landlines may vary. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. For full terms, go to channel5.com slash bbvote. Up next, brand new drama, Love Hit, followed by Bit on the Side with Emma at 10 past 11.